Tell me about the blood supply of rectum. There are five arteries which are uttermost with each other to supply rectum, superior rectal artery, two middle rectal arteries, and two inferior rectal arteries. There is an extensive plexus of veins which links superior rectal vein which drains into inferior mesenteric vein, middle rectal vein which drains into internal iliac vein, inferior rectal vein which drains into internal pudendal vein. What are the structures palpable with a finger inside the rectum in male? Anorectal ring, sacrum, ischial spines, prostate gland, coccyx, ischial fossa. What is anorectal ring? It is a distinct ring formed by internal sphincter, deep part of external sphincter and puborectalis muscle at the junction of rectum and anal canal. What are the possible sites? of rectal perforation that cause peritonitis due to presence of fecal matter within peritoneal cavity. The site must be in upper or middle third of rectum. Why do you say so? Because rectum may communicate with peritoneal cavity as those parts contain peritoneal covering, so fecal matter may enter the peritoneal cavity through perforation. What muscle contribute to form anorectal angle? Puborectalis muscle. What is the blood supply of anal canal? Superior rectal artery supplies up the upper half of anal canal. Inferior rectal artery supplies the lower half of anal canal. Upper half is drained by superior rectal vein into inferior mesenteric vein. And lower half is drained by inferior rectal vein into internal pudendal vein. What are the other differences between upper and lower halves of anal canal? Nerve supply to upper part of anal canal is derived from autonomic hypogastric plexus, so it is sensitive to stretch only. Nerve supply to lower part of anal canal is from somatic inferior rectal nerve, so it is sensitive to pain, temperature, touch and pressure. Lymph vessels of upper part drain into inferior mesenteric nodes. Lymph vessels of lower part drain into medial group of superficial inguinal nodes. Mucous membrane is derived from endoderm and lined by columnar epithelium in upper half of anal canal. It has anal columns, anal valves and anal sinuses. But mucous membrane of lower half of anal canal has no anal columns, valves or sinuses. It is derived from ectoderm and lined by stratified squamous epithelium. Describe anal sphincters. There are two anal sphincters, internal sphincter and external sphincter. Internal sphincter is formed by a thickening of circular muscle layer at upper end of anal canal. It is enclosed by external sphincter which is formed by striated voluntary muscle. It has three parts, subcutaneous part encircles the lower end of anal canal. Superficial part is attached to coccyx and perineal body. Deep part encircles the upper end of anal canal, deep and subcutaneous parts have no bony attachments. What are the relations of anal canal? Posteriorly, anocoxygeal body, laterally ischiorectal fossae, anteriorly perineal body. What are the boundaries of ischioanal fossa? Laterally, Fascia covering the medial surface of obturate internus muscle, medially fascia over lavator ani and external anal sphincter 
flow is formed by skin and subcutaneous fat posteriorly sacrotuberous ligament anteriorly by urogenital triangle what are the nerves and vessels cross the fossa inferior rectal vessels and nerves what contains within pudendal canal pudendal nerve internal pudendal vessels 